Hello and welcome to another tutorial video on Game Maker by myself Ryan Laley. Um, in this episode, I thought I would go over uh, how to create something that's become quite popular this year, and that is to create a movement system uh, similar to Diablo and those sort of top-down RPG games. Um, it's a like sort of top-down uh, mouse-controlled movement, and I'm going to show you how to do this and replicate this effect in Game Maker. So first of all, we're going to create a sprite for our player. For this, I'm going to use one that came with uh, Game Maker. A little triangle for now. Nothing fancy. I mean, obviously, you would do something fancier if you had more time to do sprites. Let's call this one S underscore player and center it. Okay. Then I'm going to add also. I'm going to add this one S mouse click. Uh, actually, let's change that to click effect. Load sprite. And for the click effect, if you've played Diablo, um, when you click on the mouse, you may notice a little like, um, graphic that appears and uh, indicates where you've clicked. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to cheat by using animation that comes with it. This is this impact stone strip. Okay. Uh, center that. Click OK. And last but not least, I'm gonna make a wall. Load sprite, and choose one that came with Game Maker again. Center, okay. So these are the only sprites we're gonna use for now. Uh, I'm gonna create a new object, and this one I'm gonna call O underscore player. And this is gonna be our player object. Given the sprite. And we're going to do several things to this player. This is where most of the code is going to happen. First of all, we're going to add a step event. And in our step event, we're going to go to control tab and then test instance count. Oh, sorry. We've got to create a new object first. Uh, o underscore mouse click. The mouse click has no sprite. Okay. So on player, do it again, go to step, control, test instance count, choose our mouse click object, which we just made. That's why I had to go make it quickly. Uh, number, we're going to make a zero and change the operation to larger than. Okay, so if mouse click is over one in the room, we're going to want it to do the following. So do a start block and end block. And we're, first of all, we're going to make it move towards this mouse, uh, this mouse click. So I'm going to go through to this one here, step avoiding, drag that to there. And here I'm going to put in some values here. I'm going to put in uh, O mouse click dot X O underscore mouse click dot Y at speed of six. And I'm going to tell it to avoid solid only. Uh, click OK. I've got a mouse at the moment, but it's a bit broken, so some errors may appear. So that will make the object player move towards the mouse click. <coughs> so that will make the object of the player move towards the mouse click. Then we're going to have to um, make it rotate to the play, uh, to its direction. So we're going to go to here. Transform sprite and angle. We're going to type in direction. Okay. One thing we need to do though first with our object, uh, our sprite for our player, is rotate it. Okay. And I'll tell you the reason why. The reason why you have to rotate this is because when it's facing up, up in mathematical and game maker terms is ninety degrees already. We want it to start at zero, so it's like a level pegging. So we want it to be this way, which is 90 degrees, click OK, and there you go. Okay, so that's now facing the direction of zero, a good base start. Okay, then we're going to want to have uh, a check whether it is within distance to the mouse click because the mouse click hasn't got a, a sprite it doesn't have a mask either collision so we can't do a collision event 
So here I'm going to use a, a, a function called distance underscore to underscore point, open bracket. And here I'm going to put in two values. I'm going to put in z o um, mouse click dot x comma o underscore mouse click dot y close bracket and I'm going to change the value to 5 and the operation to smaller than so this is going to test whether it's uh, the distance between the player object and the mouse click object is smaller than 5 pixels if it is we want it to do the following we want to destroy object mouse click Okay, so what will happen here if the if there is a mouse click in the room, it's going to move towards the mouse click. It's going to change the direction of the sprite, to make it look like it's actually going the right way, and then it's going to test whether the distance to the mouse click is smaller than five. If it is smaller than five, it's destroyed the instance. Therefore, when it goes back around again, if the number of instances of the mouse click is zero, uh, is great is greater than zero, which it isn't, because we just destroyed it it won't do all this again okay if you didn't have this then you would get lots of errors when you start deleting mouse clicks so the next thing we need to do is go to add event mouse and go to global mouse global left button okay so the difference between global and the normal left uh, button left button means uh, just when you uh, any when you push on top of the sprite of the player of this object here and global means when you push the button wherever it is on the screen so in here we wanted to create a mouse click okay but I also wanted to do that sort of trailing effect so that when uh, it, you hold down the button it will follow the mouse so what we're going to do is start it off the event with an action of destroy instances of the object mouse click okay and that means it will destroy all mouse clicks in the world but then we also wanted to create a mouse click. So they go to create, object, mouse click. And type in the values um, mouse underscore x, mouse underscore y. This means it will put this object directly underneath the mouse, like the computer's mouse, on the screen. Okay, and that, oh, and that should do it. Now we're going to do the effect. So go to create new object, click effect, O click effect. Here I'm going to create armor, uh, alarm, sorry. And it's only got four sub images, so I'm going to type in four here, so it only goes four steps. And then click OK. Go to alarm zero event so when it spawns this it's going to set the alarm when the alarm goes off we want it to destroy the instance so destroy itself so therefore it only runs the animation once uh, click ok go back to our mouse click um, sorry our player object global left button and we want to create another instance of the object this time choosing the click effect and exactly the same code mouse underscore x mouse underscore y okay and that's that last but not least we need to make our wall object so go to create new object o wall choose the wall and we just make it solid okay, okay. now we just make a room to put them all in so let's put in our player object and then put in some walls like that and that's it, you don't have to put the others in because they get spawned in during the game close that and run it Okay, so here's our player. If I click, 
you see the little mouse effect come up click again well I can also draw a line for it to follow like that and because we made it go step avoiding all I have to do it if I want to go through a wall is go around it and the game maker will figure out the quickest route around the wall And there you have it, Diablo style movement. So you can do a top down RPG, action RPG. Um, I may go through at some point how to do like a hot bar and how to have like key bindings and how to do uh, some actions to go with these key bindings. If that's something that people would like to see, um, by means I may try and do that. Um, but there you go, nice little movement. Uh, it'd be nice to see this being used in some games, uh, especially my classes for my students. Um, and that's it. I've been Ryan Lally, uh, please subscribe to get future updates on other videos and check out other videos, see if there's something else you like, leave comments, like, give us some feedback and I'll uh, see you next time.